guys or afternoon or whatever it is for you uh, yeah, as y'all can see I got me some gas I'm all full like I said I was going to do uh, this video is going to be a Gordon Food Service uh, review now we're going to review the interview we are going to review the um, how to apply and we're going to review uh, the process with the two managers that I met with and we're going to uh, review orientation. I was going to do a DoorDash review. I actually signed up last week and got approved and everything. But I'm not good at this, y'all. So um, I got a few days to mess with it. DoorDash videos go viral. So uh, I pretty much suck at it. So we, we're going to see how. I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore today. Um, because y'all, as you guys know, I'm moving to South Carolina soon. But um, okay. So, Gordon Food Service. So, I applied. I seen it on Indeed.com. So, I seen it on Indeed.com. I had to go to the main website, put in everything. Just like all the other, um, you know, uh, truck jobs where you got to put in, you know, the years of experience. Three to ten years. Um... Y'all see how I whipped that? That's how y'all know I'm a city delivery driver with big rigs. Because I whip stuff around like that. But, um, so you put in all that. Uh, about uh, three days later, they called me. So I received the call to come in for the interview. I brought with me to the interview my resume. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. Nope. Too fast. I did a phone interview, right? A couple, three days later, phone interview. Everything checked out, gave her some information. Um, literally a few hours later, I had a interview, um, an in-person interview for the next day. So that's what I did. We're going to sit over here, guys, see if we get an order. So that's what I did, and um, I went to the in-person interview. I brought with me my DOT card, my resume, um... You know, just the whole nine, everything. I even had my social and my ID, you know, my two forms of ID to get hired. And I had, you know, everything ready for why I w would be a good GFS driver. So, I, I arrived there and uh, walked in, talked to the receptionist. Immediately, the manager came out. Everyone at GFS was dressed so nice. It's not like Cisco where you got a lot of raggedy people. Everybody at GFS was dressed so nice and just looked so, oh, we got to order, so professional, guys. Like, I was like, wow. It's such a different uh, environment than at, um, that you see at um, good old Cisco. Like, at Cisco everybody is like you know tired and ran down the supervisors look scruffy no not at GFS good and food service is like a professional food service like they they look professional everything so talking to him it was great he let me meet the next manager it was great he said we know you're a new driver but we think you're going to be excellent for the position the way you talk to people Ooh, bud um well you you know you're you're presentable because i wasn't presentable he said you had everything ready we think you'll do good he said starting off your first year this year you're going to make around 75k i'm like okay all right he told me that they get paid stop cube mile it's not hourly uh during training you're paid hourly i think it was like 20 bucks an hour um another great thing about them if you don't have your cdl and they think you'll be a good fit they will, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if you have your permit and you went to school, they will pay for you to get your Class A CDL and work for them. Say if you went through school and everything and all you got to do is pass your test, uh, oh, good old GFS will pay for you to go, uh, or to pass the test at least. So, great people, um, we had, me and the managers had a great conversation. Um, they're really open to talking they didn't make me feel like I was beneath them or um, I was you know just a, a number 
um, they let me check out the equipment the, all the trucks were in great condition now at least the cosmetic part the, um, the outside everything was painted real nice clean the insides were pretty clean it looks like the, the drivers take pride in themselves um, I seen a few drivers their uniforms are immaculate great excellent like they keep them real nice you can tell that they're not working so hard to where they're destroying their clothes and their uniforms you know they're able to take their time and still look nice like uh, other places like Cisco you're running so hard that man you're tired you're ripping your clothes all that we'll be right back what you got uh, yeah so Gordon Food Service has the the number one best uniforms I have seen the second uh, best uniforms that I haven't uh, said in the previous video US Foods has pretty good ones and Cisco just went to new ones but like I said usually those guys are so tired they get all ripped up and everything else um, so Gordon Food Service um, okay so we were at the hiring process looking at the trucks so they showed me how they load the trucks they use a conveyor belt system and then I think I seen that part I didn't see no one inside but I think someone hand stacks each uh, pallet in there off the conveyor belt maybe one or two people and I also noticed that their trucks are real nice neat and clean inside the trailers and usually there's enough space in there for you to work now if you worked at any other place maybe at least food service or like a sea store food service where you deliver uh, snacks food and uh, usually frozen food and cigarettes and dry um, now you you would you you probably seen the, the the 28 footer or the 40 footer stacked all the way to the back with totes and boxes um, yeah no uh, GFS they're a little bit more you know safer for you um, than I seen and they also have um, these metal like racks that hook to the top of the trailer and to the bottom of the trailer they don't hook it's just like a cushion they push up against it it's kind of like a ratchet you crank it and it tightens up it, what those do is they hold you know the the stuff on the pallets in place as you unwrap and 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 break break the pallets down so that you don't get a scattered load all over your truck you know and then that's going to cause you more time out of your day they go ahead and get those for you because you know at the end of the day you're not paid hourly unless something really goes wrong and you're down for you know mechanic problems and all that um, now those guys they're making about uh, anywhere from 1100 to I think about 1600 a week depending on the size of your route and what you can handle and what you request um, everything that I talked to those man managers about like the things that I requested the way I wanted the route to run for me um, the amount of work that I wanted they said we can do all that man you sound like a great guy great driver we just want to you know make you happy and keep you here bud um, that's the only food service I ever said that usually they just say uh, the other two that I worked for usually they just say oh that's just how it goes deal with it basically deal with it or get out you're just a number not with GFS they made me feel so welcome um, yeah let's just but honestly they made me feel so welcome that's like the best trucking or one of the best companies I ever talked to at an interview um, yeah GFS does real good at that they're, they're a great uh, company and culture real family like make you feel real good about yourself and about the work that you do um, so the trucks are real nice and everything now I left the interview had the position had the offer and then orientation was I think a week later where he told me I was gonna start with another driver and also uh, I think a warehouse guy we're all gonna do it together and knock it out um, anyways um, so or orientation came up I got another confirmation phone call from HR wherever they're at um, talk to them and they said uh, yep yeah, this is your day be there yeah so anyways um, yeah so great company I'm, I'm uh, this was just a little review with my experience with them I didn't actually go to work for them because I end up taking the sign-on bonus uh, with Cisco and going with them but for the most part uh, like every uh, oh I didn't tell you everything so talking to the managers about retirement and benefits 
benefits or probably the second best benefits I heard and in, in out of all the trucking companies uh, that do food service except for Cisco Cisco like I said before have the best benefits you can get in food service I think uh, Gordon food service would have the second best now um, the reason why I say that is uh, because they also have kind of like a retirement not like it's not a pension but somewhat like a pension that you can after you know five years take money out and go start your own business or do whatever you want I actually had a buddy who worked for them and he started his own little cargo van he doesn't even drive CDL no more he drives medical contract courier vans at first he started with one van that's what he used it he had uh, I think he said 65,000 saved up that he was able to use of course they taxed it or something like that but um, he was able to use I think he got pen I don't know uh, if you work there you know please comment down below how that works but you probably know what I'm talking about that's how he started his little so he started with one little van got the insurance and everything As soon as he quit and as soon as he got the money he started everything up within 30 days of getting that money he had it all started up I right. then he then left GFS you know on good terms and talk to them about coming back if he wanted to they said yep you're a great guy because they're just a you know great company to work with um, so he's now he's he used that money to you know be a medical cur or a medical delivery service and those little uh, sprinter vans that you see Amazon do he started with one van and now he has five and he's just growing 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 and he's dipping and dabbing into other things um, so yeah, Gordon Food Service, in my opinion, um, I believe is the number one food service to go with. Um, that's with the way they treat you, the way they dress, the way they work you, and uh, how 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 you feel. You feel extremely welcomed from the interview process and on. Uh, my stupid self should not have went for the ten thousand dollar sign on bonus. Should have just stayed with them. They also have a lot of bonuses and you're off like major holidays and all that they're a great company gfs i think is number one now i know there is other uh food service companies like cheney brothers and uh there's all types of them there's all types but in my area we have u.s foods gordon food service cisco cormark has shuttle routes down here abby brown and abby brown um there might be a few more in there i think ags it's up in there um, but for them uh, but though, but you know I pretty much talked to all the big ones but for me I think Gordon food service is the best one to get with if you can you'll, you'll also notice it's in this area you'll see all the other ones hiring all the time you don't really see uh, Gordon foods doing that you know what I mean so let's go ahead and end this video before it gets too long uh, like I said in my opinion Gordon food service is the number one food service to work for uh, to make some good money as a local trucker and benefits wise um, it's also a great place you can save up money and possibly you know use your retirement fund to start your own business later um, great great company to work for Gordon Food Service I'll probably be talking to you soon when this contract that I have now ends to get back with you guys um, yeah probably probably will um, that's actually my plan once this contract ends um try to hop on another one but if we can't we'll always have a contact at Gordon food service to you know uh, talk to you yeah. so thank you guys for watching uh, another episode of